A statewide last call order to stop alcohol sales after 10 o'clock at night will stand for now. A judge denied an attempt by some bars and restaurants to change that last call. Thanks for being with us and watching CBS 4 News at 5, also streaming right now on CBS and Denver. The judge's decision came early this afternoon. Our Rick Salinger live from a Denver bar that is certainly impacted by the ruling as are many. Rick, the governor's order was aimed at slowing the spread of the virus, especially among young people. Yes, it was, Jim. And Judge Brian Whitney of Denver District Court said he understood the economic hardship this is causing for many bars and restaurants. But he said, you don't play with a loaded gun. And that is exactly what COVID is. Bar owners emerged from court perhaps ready for a drink, but it won't be after 10 p.m. at one of their bars. Devastating to me. I mean, I have a, a, such a huge place, 900 person capacity. And we're limited to 100 people. That's 11% occupancy. His rent, $45,000 a month at the enormous Blake Street Tavern. It boasts about its efforts to stay safe. But the state argued alcohol removes inhibitions and could remove masks and social distancing. Last call at 10 is not a statement about the value of nightlife. It is an important part of our culture, an important part of our economy. But tavern owners insisted they should not be singled out when liquor stores can remain open. The 10 p.m. last call is a message directly aimed at those in their 20s who socialize at bars. They're hitting a few buttons, tracing the behavior of a few 20 to 29 year olds and saying, let's hit the shutdown button at 10 o'clock. This decision may be appealed or go to a full trial. The judge also left in place the capacity limits during the virus under the governor's order. Judge Whitney had one memorable line which pretty much summed up his decision. He said, we all want to live through this and have a life to live. In Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.